we've been talking about the moon and all that kind of stuff. The white-tailed deer, uh, our research has shown that a white-tailed deer has 2150 vision. They're nearsighted. They also have poor depth perception. They cannot see HD camera. Okay. So if you wear an HD camo, it's just because you look cool in it. Because the deer don't matter to them. Okay. Alright, white-tailed deer's pupil runs this way. Yours does this. Okay? There's a very good reason why they do it. Their, their eye will process light a million times better than yours will. If there's any light at night, it's like daylight to them. But during the day, they're freaking out because they, they're, they're a snow blind, right? So they've got that pupil that closes down like the, like the glass, glasses that the Eskimos wear out on the ice okay, to, to cut that out. Okay, why is their eye so more efficient than ours? Well, one reason is their pupil opens bigger. But the other one is in the back, and this is uh, difficult for me to get done sometimes, so you're going to have to bear with me here. It's, it's, I, I ball it so hard. <laughs> okay, first of all, here's the lens. The lens, ours is a lot flatter than that. So it's called accommodation of focusing like this. They don't focus well like this. That's why our three strand electric fence, which is a wire out here, three feet, two wires here, work so well because they, they have poor depth perception. They'll come up there and they look at it, easily could jump it, but they'll investigate. So that's a pew, I mean, the uh, lens right there. All right, now I'm going to get the vitreous humor out of here and go to the back of the eyeball is the retina. Okay? But the retina you're going to discover is pretty cool. I'm going to mess it up here. We'll turn this eyeball inside out if I can. Hang on. Now, I know no one in here has ever shined a deer. <laughs> <laughs> but what are you seeing when you do? Here is the back, back of the eyeball. Huh. That is called the tapetum lucidum. It is a mirror. So the retina sits on top of it. Light comes in, goes through the rods and cones, stimulates them, hits that mirror in the back, bounces back out again, and is reprocessed. That's the eye shine you see. Okay? Now, when we, when we section this and see what kind of cells, y'all know about rods and cones, right? Cones perceive what? Color. The color part is only in a band across the middle corresponding to where the... Because the only time they can see color is like us. Do you see color at night? No. Not without a flashlight. Okay? So the only place they have color vision is in a band right across the middle of the back of the eye. Okay? Now, what colors can they see? They can see blue, and they can see ultraviolet. Okay? So, you would be very obvious to the deer. Everything else looks yellowish to them. If you want to see what uh, a deer is seeing, dress up in your hunting suit, get somebody to take a picture of it, and you can go to a website there's several websites that's called Daltonization. Daltonization. It will allow you to take a picture and and show what a red green colorblind person sees. The white tail deer is a red green colorblind. I can do that. So you can see it. Okay. All right. If we uh, if we could darken this room, shine a flashlight on it, this would be with eye shine. Right. So that's the back of the eyeball of the deer. Okay. And their lens is a lot different, a lot thicker, more rounded than ours. Okay. But eagle's eye, is, the lens is almost pure round. 